The Arctic tundra biome is located in the northern hemisphere in the regions including the northern section of Europe, Alaska, Canada, Siberia, and Greenland. Known for its frigid, desert-like conditions, the growing season only occurs for about 50 to 60 days each year. The average winter temperature is negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, while average summer temperatures range anywhere from 37 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit. This short period of increased temperature allows the tundra to sustain life. Levels of rainfall vary depending on the region of the Arctic. On average though, the Arctic tundra receives anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of rain per year. This even factors in melted snow. The low level of rainfall actually rivals some of the world's warmest and driest deserts. Soil formation is slow and a permanently frozen subsoil called permafrost exists. This permafrost layer, which consists mostly of gravel and finer materials, allows for water to saturate the upper surface, which provides moisture for plants. There are roughly 1,700 kinds of plants in the Arctic tundra. These plants are all well adapted to the severe Arctic elements. All plants within the Arctic are fairly short and commonly grouped together to help resist the frigid temperatures. Several species of animals call the Arctic tundra home. A few of these species include the polar bear, walrus, arctic fox, the snowy owl, and the narwhal. Unfortunately, there are several threats that the arctic tundra is currently facing and it probably isn't much of a surprise that the Arctic is currently warming up. A past study on Ellesmere Island in northern Canada aimed to view the ecological and evolutionary consequences of Arctic plant species due to warming in the Arctic tundra ecosystem. By viewing data from research conducted 20 years prior when temperatures were significantly cooler and comparing it with their current data, researchers were able to conclude that there were significant differences in phenology and other traits between the two studies. Basically, Arctic plants, which are genetically engineered for cold weather, have had to significantly adapt to warmer temperatures and the fear is the temperatures will become so high that plants can no longer keep pace with the rapidly changing conditions. An increase in temperature isn't the only issue that the Arctic is currently facing. Exploration of oil, gas, and minerals has led to construction of numerous pipelines and roads, which have caused major physical disturbances and habitat destruction. The permafrost layer is a perfect example of this. As disturbances become greater, the permafrost layer melts, which leads to the release of carbon in the form of carbon dioxide and methane, both of which are powerful heat-trapping gases. To help counteract the growing issues that the Arctic is currently facing, the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, located in northeastern Alaska, stands as a small glimmer of hope. This refuge, set aside in 1960, was established for the sole purpose of preserving unique wildlife, wilderness, and recreational values. Since 1960, the refuge has more than doubled in size from 8.9 million acres to 19.6 million acres and serves as a safe haven for more than 250 animal species. Overall, the Arctic tundra is one of the most impressive and breathtaking parts of the entire world. Unfortunately, ecological impacts are taking their toll and the tundra will not last forever, but we can certainly enjoy its beauty as long as it's still around. Its ecosystem is just as important as any other and we can only hope that it remains intact for years to come. <laughs>